Close your eyes and settle in with the breath. Try to stick with it as continually as you can. The image they give in Thailand is a, re a red ant. They have these big red ants that hold on. When they bite you, they hold on so tight that if you try to pull them off, their head actually detaches from the body before the, before the jaws will let go. It's that tenacious. So you're going to be that tenacious with the breath. There are the things you could be looking at right now, the things you could be listening to, but you decide not to. Other things you could be thinking about, you could be decide not to. You're going to strengthen the mind. We have to have conviction that our actions really do make a difference in the, our lives. This is what it means to have conviction in the Buddha's awakening. After all, he awakened through his own actions, and he awakened to the power of action, seeing how it shapes everybody, everybody's lives all throughout the universe. To have a conviction in action, that means we have to have conviction in training the mind. Because if the mind is not trained, then it can tell you to do all kinds of things, and has no idea whether it's doing right or wrong. It's in training the mind you get some control over it. At the same time, you make it more sensitive to what the results of its actual actions are. When you take the precepts, you begin to realize that certain things you used to think were okay are not okay anymore. And then when you stop doing them, you realize that the amount of suffering you were adding on top of yourself really was unnecessary. The amount of suffering you were adding on top of other people was unnecessary. Same with concentration, the same with discernment. You get more control over the mind at the same time you make it more sensitive. That way you begin to see for yourself the things that the Buddha saw. Because he doesn't want us to accept his teachings simply as words. They're recommendations so that we can see when ourselves what he saw in himself. So the best way to see that is to try to be right here in the present moment as continually as you can, and the breath is a good anchor for that. So put some effort into your practice. Not so much that it's too much. You have to find out what's the right amount. But make sure it's not just a lazy practice. We're not here just to relax. We're here to understand our minds, to take things apart inside. So we can understand the suffering that we've been causing, learn how to stop it, and find the benefits of stopping it, both for ourselves and for other people.